Hi Simple Life Ministry, Lorna here, back at you with another video. Guess where I am? I am in Canada. I came, I came up last night and um, I just thought I would come on here and just sh share some of my experiences with you. I was there in Jamaica and I've been praying and asking the Lord like, should I come back up? What should I do? Please open the door for me, close the door, whatever you do not want me to do, just close the door. And last weekend, last week, last week Saturday, I became so overwhelmed, like I could feel the pressure of, you know, like the Spirit saying, the door is open, the door is open, and I... I, I just wanted to come so much that I started to make plans and then that night I went to bed and I prayed and I said Lord I don't want to go before you and I know my my wanting to come it may seem to me as if it's you opening the doors and so when I get up in the morning and call the airline if it is your will for me to come um, let the let let as soon as I call let somebody answer the phone and the reason why I pray that that prayer is because the whole day be, the, before I was calling I was calling no answer nothing and I kept saying am I pushing it am I being anxious because we being anxious is not of God, so I don't want to be anxious. So I prayed that prayer. I said, Lord, if it is not your will, do not let it happen. Just um, let it continue to ring the way before. But if it is your will, let someone answer the phone and let the flight that I want be, be on the day that I want it. And just, just let everything work smoothly after that. And Simple Life, I got up the morning and I, I was so excited. I was like thinking, just go to the phone and call because you've heard that the earlier you call them, the, the better chance you have of, of getting an answer. But then I said to myself, um, no, I have to put God first. So I have to have my morning devotion first before. And it's like there's... Another spirit saying to me, but if you have your morning devotion, then you're going to be calling them an hour later. And that's the time you're going to run up in the time when other people will be calling. And I said, no, because now the day is going to be lighted and you're not going to have the same effect in your devotion. So have your devotion first. And if it is God's will, God will still open the door for you to get through. And so I went and had my devotion. I did not try to hurry. I just did my normal devotional time. And when I finished, I drank my water and I called them. And I kid you not, Simple Life, somebody answered the phone. I was like, hello, hello. I could not believe because all along, before I commit my ways properly to the Lord, before I said, Lord, this is... If this is your will, you know what, let your will be done. If you don't want me to go, because before I was praying, but I had my own selfish reasons. I didn't really truly put it in your hands. So this time I am, and I'm asking you, please, not my will, but your will be done. And someone answered. They had the date that I want. He was so courteous, no problem. So anyways... I am here and it's cold. I forgot, I wasn't thinking. I forgot that Canada was cold and I forgot that the cold started way before it's supposed to be cold. And so I'm here and it's good to be here. It's just that I have to be snuggled up in my snuggly, snu snuggies, what is it, Lauren? <laughs> yeah, so, um, Coming up, it was a good flight. I I got to sit in a whole row all by myself because you do it, they're doing the social distancing thing, and and the plane was not full, so it was good. They still issue out their snacks, 
but because I don't eat in between meals I brought them home here with me but um, what else can I say I, I took my test and um, it was negative and I came up and my son came to pick me up it was just so nice to be here because even though I love Jamaica and I love the warmth Canada is still home to me because my children are here and I miss them so much simple life like I was there and even though I'm comfortable my heart my heart is is here so I am so glad that God opened the doors to to make it possible for me to come and so even though we may want things in life and we need it we think we need it so bad and we got to have it if it is not God's will then there's no need in trying to get it because you will be sorry down the line and we can't go before God God knows what the plans that he have for us and the future that he has for us so I just want to come on here and share that with you hoping that after my 14 days quarantine I will get to catch up with old friends and um, and the other two children which are not at this house the older children so what else can I can I share apart from its rain it has been raining all day and um, being here there's no convenience of catching all that water so I miss out on that and but it, it, it was good. It is good to be here. So, 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 so glad to see the kids because I went down in November and I am just coming back. Now it's almost a year since I was away. So for all those who said, Lorna, are you coming back? I am here and I hope I get to see everyone and can be able to catch up. So um, that's it for now. I will talk to you later. Bye. Have a blessed day.